Okay, this is the walkthrough video on the new Piranha CDE four-wheel carriage. You just got a weight on this, it weighs 220 pounds. This particular one was built for a pair of 32-inch ponies. I'm just going to start at the front and go back. This one has a neck yoke on it, fixed neck yoke. It swivels both ways on bearings. I can replace this with a crab tree in whatever width you like uh, to make it fit your pair and your harness. The pole is adjustable in length. There's adjustable bolts underneath here. It's infinitely adjustable. The pole is floating as well, as you can see. I have turnbuckles in here that support the weight of the pole. They're very easily adjustable and you can move it up or down no problem at all. A double tree right at the moment. I have a full double tree in this, by the way, to equalize between the two horses. Now I'm going to add some snubber straps in here so you can take out that equalizing action if you want to. Uh, the double tree can be unbolted here and the whole mount, double tree, single trees and all, can go on the top up here for breast collar harness. This is set up for collar and hang harness down here to get a proper line of draft for the collars. This gives a proper line of draft for breast collar. Okay, now back to the suspension on this part. This is a, I call this my simplex suspension. This is the first suspension I built. It's been in use for over three, probably four years now. It works very well. This is the simplest, lightest, lowest suspension that I can come up with. As you notice, nothing sticks up on this suspension and there are virtually no moving parts. What happens with any suspension is the spring absorbs energy. That's what it does. It does that by moving up and the wheel will also move back and these springs will twist because there isn't a solid axle in here. All those different motions, the lifting, the twisting, all absorb energy, which is what you want it to do. The leaf spring in this application is self-dampening because of the friction in between the two leaves. Now, that spring twisting is counteracted by what I call a snubber chain. This chain takes the place of a solid suspension arm on many independent suspensions. The reason I use a chain is because it doesn't bend if you hit something with it. It'll just, the spring will give, you'll be over the object, and you carry on with your chain intact. Now I'm just going to stand on this and show you what happens when I put weight on that corner. You can see how the spring stays straight, the wheel travels straight up and down, the chain is absorbing that twisting and transferring it to the frame of the cart. This is a full four-wheel independent suspension. This cart has 125 centimeter track width which makes it very stable. Now even though it only weighs 220 pounds, to demonstrate the stability of this cart, I can step right here on the outside corner with my 200 pounds. I can stand right there and pull that cart and I can barely lift the other wheel on the other side. This particular cart has disc brakes on it, cable activated disc brakes. They're an extremely heavy duty brake like what's found on snowmobiles. Uh, they are very practical. The parts are easily available anywhere to put new pucks in these disc brakes. And they work good. The purpose of brakes, once again, we all know is to simply slow the carriage, not the horses. This cart's going into an area where there's some hills and a little bit of up and down, so the owner wants brakes to help her ponies on those long downgrades. We put at customer's request, once again, everything we do is custom. We have these side panels in the seat. It's a single seat with the side panels. It's a nice secure seat. I just want to show the ergonomics of this cart and the ease of getting into it. I can step here in between the cart frame and the wheel and then easily step into the cart. It's like sitting on a kitchen chair. I sit upright. I'm at a height where I can drive my horses, drive down to my horses, 
and it is solid. This cart is secure. Driving this cart, it feels like a rocket sled on rails, literally. Once again, when I step out of this cart, there is no tippiness to it. None whatsoever. I can step right here. There's no tippiness to this cart. Ready? This cart has a full fifth wheel in it. It's a 12 inch diameter fifth wheel made out of plate steel with a quarter inch thick UHMV plastic, it's called disc, in between the two steel halves. It's connected by a one inch diameter grade eight steel bolt with heavy washers top and bottom, lock nut on the bottom. I've used this style of fifth wheel because of its simplicity and the longevity of these fifth wheels. I've pulled large semi-trailers over two million miles using an exact similar style fifth wheel. It's two steel plates with a plastic disc in the middle. It's clean, there's no grease, there's no need to lube it. This, see, this particular fifth wheel has a lip that comes from the top of the fifth wheel down past the bottom. What that does is, is it any water that gets up in there it self drains. It drains out there. The center can drain through the center and anything splashes up in there is kept out because of that lip. I call it a gravity seal. Works well. Now another common cause of instability in fifth wheel carts is what they call tricycling. When the cart is turned at a full 90 degrees, they become unstable because the cart will rotate around the axles. I just want to demonstrate the stability of this cart. See, it takes a lot to flip this cart. When you sit in it, you can get in and out of the cart with it tricycled, and it is very stable. I'm not trying to tell you that you cannot flip this cart, but this wide track and the suspension giving in all four corners independently greatly contribute to the stability of this carriage. Now to the back here. I have a groom platform back here because of the fact it is a Paris carriage. Now I've made this as small as I can. This cart carries over half of its weight on the back axle. The reason for that is it makes the front axle a little lighter, which enables your pair, when they have a proper line of draft, to pull that front end up out of holes over rough ground. It makes it ride better because it will float up and over rather than bang into. This, I've given some hand holds designed in here so that when you need to, you can really lay some body English onto this cart. Like I say, it is stable. Uh, I think that's good enough for now. Once again, the Piranha from Patty's Pony Place.